think it is just so rewarding to grow your own food and feed your family straight from the backyard knowing where that food comes from. And of course, the great thing about the kitchen garden is that you don't need a lot of space to do it. So I've got a project for you that combines two of my great loves, upcycling and leafy greens. Believe it or not, it all starts with this little beauty right here, which I picked up from an op shop for just 15 bucks, so that's not bad. And it's, okay, a little past its prime, but it's got loads of charm and it's going to be perfect for my lettuce and herb table. So the first thing we need to do is create some space for planting. So I just picked up these perforated pans from a kitchen supply place. We're going to put them on either side here just to give a little bit of clearance for those drawers. So let's start by measuring out some guidelines just to make sure I don't cut into the underframe. Now those guidelines are in place. I can just trace around the pan. Okay, now I'm just going to come in another 10 mil from that original line, just so that that lip of the pan can fit snugly into place. Then it's just a matter of drilling some holes in the corners to get the jigsaw in and we're ready to go. <laughs> Two extra chopping boards. All right, now the critical moment. Let's see if the pans fit. Look at that, magic. All right, so all we need to do now is get stuck into some sanding. You can see the table's actually come up really well with just a good sand, but it's just started to rain a little bit, so I've brought it all under cover. And I want to add a splash of paint. So yellow is such a cheery colour to have in the garden, but rather than paint just one solid colour over the whole thing, I'm doing something a bit different. So for the tabletop, I'm using this sort of pastel lemon colour. And just for something a little bit bolder, I'm using a really glossy, bright canary yellow on the drawers. And as far as the legs go, gosh, this table has got so much character, I think we should just leave them a little bit natural and maybe apply some wax. So now that that paint is dry, I'm just going over the top of it with a bit of steel wool and wax. Now that wax really enriches that colour and if I put a bit of grunt into it with the steel wool, you can see the timber's coming back through and I'm getting a nice aged look. So in essence, what we're creating is a mini edible garden in these two containers. So what should we get in there? All right, so I always think it's really nice to include some of those plants that you can just pick leaf by leaf as you need them for your dishes. So I'm a big fan of the rainbow silver beet. It's a great one because it's got the coloured stems which also run through your soups and your stir fries and whatever you cook with it. So we get some rainbow silver beet in there. I'm also including some perpetual lettuce. So this is great because you can harvest it again leaf by leaf but over a longer period of time. So it's a good one to get in there. I also wanted to include edible flowers in there. You know, just because they're really pretty but they also look good in your salads. So I've got some marigolds here and a little bit of nasturtium. You can eat both the leaves and the flowers if you're nasturtiums. And then I've got this other herb here, which is just great for colour. Check this out. This is one of the red basil, so it's a longer-lived basil, which means you can harvest it year-round. Then just a few more herbs and leafy greens, and this is going to look amazing. And when you're happy with your planting combinations, just top it up with a bit of good quality potting mix. Does 
does this look? It's just such a fun, quirky idea for having food at your fingertips. And you can even put it straight outside the kitchen door for easy picking. And remember, the best thing is you don't need a lot of space to do this. It would look just perfect on a sunny patio or balcony. Maybe it's something you could do with the kids this weekend.